Tonight, Festerson says this bike corral will come back, and he says it shouldn't have been removed in the first place. When the city of Omaha put this bike corral outside of Sarah Johnson's business, the last thing she expected was to see it removed and put on the back of a public works truck. In one case, with a bike still attached. That was full, like consistently. No one could argue that it was a well-used amenity for the neighborhood. Johnson still owns this building, although her business closed back in September. She says her neighbors saw crews dismantling the racks Wednesday morning. She called her city councilman, Pete Festerson, asking why. We were told from Festerson that he talked to Public Works and we all agreed that they would stand down and stop removing the rack. We were assured around lunchtime that the bike corral would remain. That obviously didn't happen. I feel like I was lied to and I feel like uh, some of the Benson residents were misled in that respect. City engineer Todd Fitzer says otherwise. I have checked with my director, my traffic engineer, and the traffic shop maintenance and none of us spoke with, with a representative from city council. Fitzer says the city removed the corral due to complaints from businesses. People calling and saying the bike shop's closed, can't we park cars there instead? And we said yes. I mean, we do it all the time with handicap stalls, go in and out. So what happens now? We'll work to get it reinstalled and continue to work with the business district itself on the greater issue of parking, which is a challenge there, uh, but we're working on that. But that shouldn't come at a sacrifice of what we've already established there. So as for this bike connected to the corral, Public Works got in contact with the owner. He will have to come to one of their facilities here in the metro and pick it back up.